Hey everybody, Captain Valen here, back with chapter 220 of Black Clover, uh, visiting the injured. Uh, exiling the demon-possessed, would we be safe then? But the Black Bulls are the magic emperor's proposal seems reckless. Well, if two royal captains are permitting it. Escaping punishment? Question mark, exclamation point. It seems like I've greatly, under greatly underestimated the trust they have in you. Asta is being judged in an unreasonable trial. The Black Bulls, along with royal captains and magic emperor Julius, provide a way out of the dilemma. If you are deemed no longer if you are deemed no longer beneficial to the kingdom, you will consent to execution without delay. You will still bring you are still being weighed upon these scales. Oh, what a dick bag. After the kingdom's battle, things have changed. Hey. -o. Damnatio. So, you intend to take responsibility for everything, even in your state? The knights and even the demon possessed? <laughs> Isn't that mission a good idea? Now nobody has to be punished. I mean, he didn't do anything bad anyway. If it's the Black Bulls, they'll track down the demon. Uh, at the very least, they'll be able to bring some influence back to our kingdom. And, if that happens, they can redeem their bad reputation after barging in on the trial. Forgiving them means taking responsibility for what happened. The kingdom cannot take responsibility for something like that. And you alone cannot bear the burden for it. This dude is like, anybody can be blamed, but who's responsible? Like, oh, I hate that shit. I'm not the one uh, bearing it. I'm entrusting it. Not responsibility, but faith. In any case, I believe that your scales will tip upwards. Tip towards the others. <clears throat> I'm relieved to see you haven't changed one bit. The strain on this country. I will not make light of confronting the crisis. If the scales tip toward the kingdom, there is no other choice but to bring judgment upon that little brat and even you. <laughs> Pardon me. Lord Julius. Heyo, are you better already, Marks? He survived, but so small. So small, but he survived. <laughs> what? I'm fine. What, what's going on here? The person who always acts like really turned into a child. <laughs> yeah, about that. You don't even have to explain. I'm. Please let me look into your memories. The kingdom is in great peril, and that form, too, honestly, I can't keep it up forever. Uh, you really are a reckless person. I'm so happy you came back to us. Uh, I'm sorry for making you worry all the time, Marks. I won't forgive you, huh? I've got a pile of work for you. Say what? I'm sorry, Sol. My body was taken from me and I was unable to protect everyone. I was such a disappointment of a captain. No way, it wasn't your fault, big sis. It was me, too. I was totally useless. As much as I hate to admit it, the Black Bull captain rescued me. Yummy? Yummy? Uh, that guy, I guess he has some good points for a man. Yeah, even if he is a man. Well, you're still unattainable for him, big sis. Ugh, so it really wasn't just a dream. All while my body was taken over until I woke up. In my memories, Yami was so close and... Oh, man, I was It was never my intention to show my cowardice. While well, I controlled the body. No way. Does this mean that Yami realized my feelings? There's no way. Big sis. Sis. You let him know, buddy. What is it? The Black Bull's captain just got here. Yami! <laughs> well, what are you doing here? <laughs> uh, what else would I be here for? I'm here to ju to visit the injured. Thornitsune princess. <laughs> That's no way I can stay calm in this room right now. So I'll turn him away like you always do. Well, we're in your debt for saving him, so just this once. 
So <laughs> I imagine her like in her voice being much like <laughs> kind of deal. Uh, so <laughs> you're doing better already? Of course, I haven't just been sleeping away in forever. <laughs> what kind of face am I making now? Right now, get away. Charlotte, you can do this. Don't push yourself. Ever since way back, you've been stubborn, clumsy, and troublesome woman. Woman, <laughs> Clumsy? Well, glad you're doing better. Oh, there's something I want to ask you, Sorny Princess. Ask me? Uh, could it be? No, it couldn't be. About that thing you said when you were possessed. I need you to tell me in detail, you, as I thought. What? It was a forbidden curse. What the? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. She, she is gone. I wonder if she heard about Weg. Hey, stop it. Don't worry, it's these bad times. We've got to stick together. Oh, that dude's about to uh get rapey, it looks like. <laughs> so this is just a comedy chapter for no reason, and I kind of dig it. Like, it's mostly just this. Jesus. That's. Next time, the start of a love comedy. The curse of the thorns. Beca uh, okay. Love comedy? You really? You really want. Alright. Alright. You know, I'm allowed to say I don't have enough faith in him as a writer. He just started to get to his stride, and now he's going to do some love comedy shit. I'll. I'll wait to see it, but I do not have high hopes. That is the best I can say. That has been me reading Black Clover. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you felt about the chapter. That's important to me. I really would like to start engaging more. It's uh, something I've, I don't know, I just need to do more. So get at me. Life happens in every direction. So let's be prepared. Karate, karate. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta go. Bye. Oh, hey, buddy.